This is Minecraft Trinity, a series inspired by flaming Moai's ultra hardcore generations. In this format, me and my two buddies try to beat the Ender Dragon Wither and Warden. On the way, everyone has one life like normal hardcore, but if somebody dies, they still have a chance. Because if one of us defeats one of the golds, everyone that died on the way gets their life back. We switch about every 15 in-game days and Sukanda started as the Wheel of Faith decided. Next in line is myself and then Professor Fink. Even though their videos are German, I'm sure you'd enjoy them. So make sure to check out the complete Minecraft Trinity playlist and their channels. Days 55 to 60 started with me harvesting a bit of sugarcane and crafting books. Okay, let's start this. Bruh. I had a feeling we still had sugarcane. And we even have books right from my adventure. <laughs> At least we have a nice farm now. Okay, time to make bookshelves. With the 9 bookshelves, I went downstairs to the enchanting room and gave us access to full enchants. Oh, right. I'm missing levels. I wanted to get levels by mining quartz in the nether, so I quickly picked some food and made new tools to start this fairly dangerous adventure. Okay, let's see. Uh, uh, okay, save. What? Uh, what? Okay, I don't know if it's a weird spawn or if he made it weird. Oh, I forgot gold equipment. Okay. Um, well, hmm, they don't sound like they are piglins. Oh, they are. Okay, okay, they saw me. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. Come here. We can have a sword fight. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't don't bring a crossbow. Yeah. Do they, do they follow me through the portal? Okay. Okay, okay. Um, doesn't seem like it. I quickly grabbed the fire-resistant gold pans and went back into the nether. Okay. They seem friendly now. You know what? I actually could search for Bastion or Fortress. Oh, wait. I can actually take those with me, right? So the pigs leave me alone? As I couldn't find a real way, I decided to duck through the walls and actually came out in a soul sand valley. However, I continued mining through the wall. On the other side, I encountered a guest. Oh shit. Oh, ouch. I don't remember how to kill these fuckers. Oh, okay. That works as well. Mm, this seems like a dead end. Wait. What's... Is that part of a bastion? It's worth a shot, I guess. Oh, fuck. Pick, fuck off. Okay. Let me grab some wood and boat down. Uh, I always forget that there are no never boats. Um... Then I do the classic way, I guess. Ouch. Okay, that didn't work. Um, I support them. No. Okay, maybe from here. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well. Okay. So there's the thing. So. This direction. Um, maybe I can see more. Uh, um, this side. Oh, the pig died here. Okay. Ah, uh -huh. would you look at that? Okay. Just out. What the fuck? Uh. I fucking hate lava. I fucking hate the never. So let's build up for the safety distance. Oh. 
Oh, okay. I think I know this bastion. Okay, so up here we have a little piece of gold. They get angry at me for that, but I can make them friendly with the gold ingot. I don't need these nuggets. Uh, uh my my Yeah wait. Like like that, yeah. This makes the most sense. Okay, so netherrack and then shooter. Take that here. Okay, oh shit the second one. Okay. Um Okay. Ingot. Ouch. Ooh. Oh, they, they still attack me here? Yeah. Ow. Okay. Okay, so I have to kill them. Okay. Ouch. Okay, now let's quickly block these ways, and we should be safe for now. Um, okay, so down there should be probably never right template. Again, I take this. Okay. Never mind. Well, I take that. From there, I bridged onto the other side where I dropped down twice. Then I bridged to the other side again, dropped down again, bridged over to the middle again, and noticed the piglin brood. So I kill him quickly and drop down to the treasure where I killed another piglin brood, destroyed the mob spawner and got myself clear out of sight as well as getting rid of the lava. Okay. Uh, nice. Template and bar. That's in protection free and a new diamond sword. Maybe this gets actually sharp as well. Okay. Now, getting out of here shouldn't be too hard, actually, if I have... Yeah, I should have enough netherrack to just build up. Okay. Just make sure to... Oh. Ow. Okay. That's what I wanted to say. Just make sure to not touch any... anything. I managed to safely leave the nether, input the template and nether ride ingot into the resource chest before returning to the nether to this time really mine quartz. But don't worry, I'll leave that out, we already have a mining episode. On the first tour I was able to reach level 36. A chest down there would be useful. Now I need the lapis and I'll take the books as well if they are needed. The first thing I enchanted was a book with protection 2, then I enchanted a chest plate with protection 4, followed by unbreaking 3 for the pickaxe. I went back and forth between the nether and was able to enchant the helmet with protection 4 and the boots as well as the leggings with protection 3. Now I can easily combine them on the anvil, so let's see, okay yeah, one level, okay, so protection 4 and unbreaking 3. One time protection free, and the others have protection for as well. And I still have the protection two book. That might turn into something someday. I then accidentally put Nessel on my shoulder and gave him or her, I don't know, asked Tsukanda a new place in our bedroom. Okay, so in the next episode, I want to build a villager trading hall. I don't know if that is worth watching or how long the video will go. But we'll see about that. Whoa, where are you coming from, little fella? Okay, uh, follow me. I still want to spot the village. Oh, another one. 
Damn, you guys had it off far. There it is. Looks pretty enough. I know it's a bit far away, but I won't go through the pain of moving the villagers up here. I brought the Ellie's home and tied them to the sugar cane farm. Okay, second farm has helped us as well. It seems cruel, but... Yeah, I have no defense, it's just cruel. I wrote the entry into the trinity log and locked off. And that's it for this video. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. You should also comment something I could do to prank Zekanda a bit. And I hope to see you in the next video, dear plug enjoyer.